Hey, what's up, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel with another video. So in today's video I wanted to highlight a very interesting project called Immutable X. I saw many comparisons with Flow, uh, but I personally somehow made an opinion that IMX is way more interesting than Flow in terms of technical characteristics. So I will make another video regarding Flow, uh, just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see it, uh, it would be interesting to know, because Flow can still show strengths during the next cycle. But in today's video I want to analyze the current situation around IMX project and what we need to do with it in our long term investment portfolio. As usually, hit a like to this video, subscribe to the channel, it's very important for me to grow and to make more quality content for you guys. And let's get started. So let's understand what Immutable X is. So IMX is an Australian project that started its work back in 2018 and positions itself as a second level blockchain based on Ethereum. With the help of this blockchain you can scale such areas as NFTs and various Web 3.0 technologies and as you understand IMX is another helper in Ethereum ecosystem. But if we are talking about other systems such as Polygon, Arbitrum or Optimism for example that are trying to embrace the immensity, IMX in turn is focused on NFT direction and has already a very good progress in it. And if we just take a look at the news background, we can see for ourselves that a very good ecosystem is already been formed around the project and a number of good agreements have already been signed with the world's top corporations. Speaking precisely, in 2022 and 2023, IMX made a plenty of partnerships with various gaming companies, such as for example Ubisoft and GameStop. Just because gaming companies understand that the dawn and hype of NFT is still ahead and at some point in time IMX will be more useful than ever before. And the same can be said about Polygon. Relatively recently news came out that Polygon and IMX partnered with each other to expand Web 3.0 technologies. And if we look at the news in general, we see that many of the world's top corporations tend to work with IMX in order to expand their NFT collections or improve some game mechanics. Just because on the basis of this blockchain all this happens much faster, more efficiently, cheaper and the most important thing, more scalable. And as for the project itself, uh, developers also do not stand still. In addition to the fact that they enter into partnerships, they also release their own popular games such as Illuvium, Gods of Unchained and many others, which also participated in a token sale on CoinList back in the days and all these games mechanics, all of that works on IMX blockchain. I also would like to add a few words about mechanism of work. As you can see on the screen, its work is based on the latest technologies which are called ZK Rollups. This is the technology that many people are now talking about and Vitalik Buterin himself personally votes for the development of this particular mechanism of work. I am planning to do another video about it because I am personally very interested to understand in more details what is that technology. So let's now move on to the team and uh, if we are talking about the management of the company then pretty much all these guys are former developers of Ethereum ecosystem and as I said everything that relates to Ethereum ecosystem and its assistance such as Arbitrum, Optimism, all this has very good prospects for the future just because the Ethereum ecosystem is already huge and will continue to grow. And a lot of bloggers say that perhaps in the future Ethereum may even overtake Bitcoin in terms of capitalization and become an industry leader. So what do you think about that? Leave a comment below, it will be interesting to know. And in order to understand project's potential, we always need to analyze Twitter because all latest news, partnerships, um, I don't know, any agreements that uh, the project is making, they will be always posted on Twitter. And as you can see, there are at the moment 340,000 active followers. It's followed by Qcoin. And if you scroll down, you can see there are plenty of news that have been updated, uh, different interviews, AMA sessions, uh, explanations about uh, game mechanics and etc. So the Twitter is quite active and this is awesome. If we take a look at the early funds and investors who have been bringing money here since 2018, then we can see for ourselves a number of such giants as Animoca Brands, Coinbase Ventures and many others who have invested a total of 300 millions of dollars here. The last round was in 2020 and 200 millions were also poured into the project during that year. That is probably why the popularity of this blockchain is explained. Big money are following it. 
And if you look at the metrics, then IMX is in 62nd place in the ranking and the price of the coin is around 55 cents. Capitalization is uh, close to 600 millions of dollars. Of course, it's not very good that the project went through such things as ICO, token sales and so on, because against the backdrop of regulation of the entire market, problems may arise in future. But looking at capitalization, you understand that they have money and most likely they will be able to pay off some kind of fine. If we look at the tokenomics, then 2 billions of tokens are in total supply and more than half of them is already circulating on the market. And this is about 58% at the moment. So we see that the coin set its previous peak at around $9.5 and it has already corrected a lot and at the moment is, as I call it, in the 50 cent zone. Does this tell us that it's already worth buying this coin? Yes and no at the same time. And now let's take a look at TradingView and determine for ourselves the optimal entry points for a long-term portfolio. I have said previously that the coin was trading at $9.5 approximately and has corrected from the top already by 95%. Of course, it would have been ideal to buy this coin in the beginning of this year in January when it was worth uh, 38 cents, only because since then the coin has grown up by almost 300% and we could earn 3x on it. Right now this coin has again fallen from its local peaks by almost more than 60% and it would certainly be nice to start picking up this coin in your long term portfolio, but personally I will not rush just because I think that the coin still has room to fall, especially if Bitcoin is planning to go to $20,000. If we stretch the local Fibonacci grid, then we can see for ourselves that the coin has clearly come to the level of 78.6 and the next zone where the coin can fall is exactly 100% and this is the level of 40 cents approximately. I will begin to pick up this coin with the first order from there, because funds that bought this coin at 5 cents, 10 cents and most likely even lower are still in a very good plus now. After that I would continue to DC8 at the mark of 35 and 30 cents approximately and even below. In general, I really like the project, its technologies, a lot of goals and tasks are outlined on the roadmap which they will most likely fulfill in the near future. And as for the hype and NFT, when this whole story starts shooting again, then such projects will be growing like mushrooms. And according to the tradition, let's move on to the coin stats calculator and see how much potential profit we can get out of this coin. So as you can see, the current price is 54 cents. And as I said previously, I will be accumulating this coin if it reaches 30 cents approximately. I will be more than happy with it. And if the market gives lower prices, it will be even better. So I don't know how much I'm going to invest into this coin. I haven't decided yet, but as I usually make examples on 1000 of dollars, which you don't need to invest everything at the same time. So basically you can invest, uh, for example, $200 at a price of 30 cents then if the price goes lower you can invest another 300 dollars and if the price goes even lower you will invest the rest 500 dollars so your average price will be roughly 25 cents but let's take into account that it's going to be 35 approximately just to be on the safe side in case if it will not override its lows and uh, i truly believe that the project has a uh, significant potential and if everything goes well with it uh, we will be able to reach uh, 61.8 uh, Fibonacci retracement uh, which is the zone of five or even six dollars and uh, as you can see uh, our thousand of dollars at an average price of 35 cents will become seventeen thousand dollars approximately which is uh, 16x but in case if everything goes even better with the project and we will see um, huge funds entering the crypto market in future so I think the total capitalization of altcoins and the total capitalization of market uh, in general will not just be three billions or four billion as it was back in 2021 it is planning to be around 10 billions of dollars and so all these funds will be investing into proper projects like uh, IMX, uh, DOT, ATOM and many others so we can definitely override our highs and uh, maybe go to 10 dollars approximately so it's going to be 28x from uh, our average price which is uh, significant guys so this is not a financial advice this is just my opinion and uh, price predictions for this coin uh, always be responsible for your money uh, diversify your risks i always mention in my videos uh, do not fall in love with any specific coin because uh, anything can happen on the crypto market so that's it from my side guys um, hope you enjoyed the video hit a like uh, leave a comment what you think about uh, immutable x and in general and i'll see you in the next videos